that this looked like a tortilla. Um, like, it's giving them tortilla vibes, which I thought was hilarious. Um, especially this bag. It's I feel like all shapes are actually in fashion. Mini bags, massive bags in between. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I wanted to talk about Louis Vuitton's latest runway show. I noticed a few uh, pictures on Foxy LV's Instagram, which I'll link below. And I had to flick through some of the pictures on Vogue runway as well. So if you love handbag and shopping videos, please like and subscribe to my channel I would super appreciate it I'm trying to reach 10,000 subs that would be super exciting if I could reach that milestone whilst flicking through some of the latest bags I noticed on the runway I noticed this quilted Alma I believe it's an Alma GM which caught my eye and it's in this beautiful black it looks like it could be like a lambskin I'm not entirely sure and this bag in particular triggered my memory and reminded me of a bag uh, that I'd seen maybe like 10 years ago it was an Alma bag in, with quilted diamonds and I did a little bit of a google search and I noticed that the bag that reminded me of this bag was from 2014 uh, fall runway so uh, Louis Vuitton have done an Alma before with this kind of diamond quilted design the previous one didn't have the puffy quilting but the whole shape and look of this uh, really reminded me of this 2014 runway show and I had a little look at the um, you know the original 2014 runway show that featured a very similar bag and I realized that this runway show was Nicola Gasquet's first runway show for Louis Vuitton. In this runway show, the Petit Mel bag was debuted. So I think because uh, Nicolas Gasquet has been at Louis Vuitton for over 10 years now, maybe he's paying tribute to one of his first fashion shows. A lot of the bags in this uh, 2023 runway show could be referencing some of his bags that he designed over 10 years ago in uh, the 2014 runway show. And I believe uh, in the 2010 era, 2014 era, there was also some, some twist bags released with the similar uh, puffy quilting. And you will see on this runway show, there is some twist bags with uh, similar puffy quilting as well. And then I think it's really interesting how the Petit Mal has like been a classic for Louis Vuitton since it debuted really like it has been I think on YouTube very popular some people say it's you know their dream bag and for a while it was definitely like one of the hottest bags on Instagram I would say so they're actually revisiting the I mean every season you see a, a special petit mal but I thought it was really interesting how in this particular runway show there is a petit mal with a top handles it's like revisiting the original monogram design but it's just elevated it a little bit more and it's paying homage to maybe the 2014 show. There is a little trunk bag which looks like a cosmetics kind of case and it reminds me of the bento box bag that came out in reverse monogram um, a while back. I really like the bento uh, little box style and this one in particular in the reverse monogram is awesome. I, I It's really good to see that Louis Vuitton are still kind of doing monogram bags on the runway shows uh, the past few seasons. Apart from the giant monogram, like the giant collection with all the giant bags, uh, there has been less canvas monogram pieces on the runway but in this show there is actually quite a few monogram pieces which is pretty cool to see because I know for a lot of Louis Vuitton collectors monogram is you know a sure favorite so I, I think that they're realizing that they can't really get rid of the monogram canvas and you'll see a lot of monogram pieces in this runway show which I think a lot of people will love. I particularly love this like miniature trunk bag with a chain. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. It looks like a mini trunk bag. Oh it is just to die for. And then there's also this new bag which has a very nice slouch to it and a chain. And this chain feature is something that uh, you will see on a lot of Nicola Gasquet's um, 
kind of bags like the vanity pm also has a similar chain and i feel like this slouchy silhouette is very much trending at the moment um it's very similar to the um the soft trunk bag that they recently released and even like something like a puzzle bag or a lindy um this relaxed hobo-esque slouchy look is i feel like very on trend and i think this is a bag that would definitely uh sell pretty well it's really interesting because if you look at the sides of the bag it features these like uh extra metal detail which i can't work quite work out yet but it looks quite beautiful and even if you look at her hand it is stacked with all these rings so it's quite a look these runway pieces are going to be really expensive it's not like you know entry level pricing here because a lot of them are hard sided kind of trunk styles one of the standout pieces was definitely this uh, Louis Vuitton I feel like it's the store like maybe it's the flagship store um, it's very novelty piece I imagine it'd be a fortune and there is this Dauphine-esque bag with a top handle as well I don't know if the Dauphine is everybody's favorite but I feel like this top handle version uh, will appeal to a lot of people I feel like top handle bags are very trending at the moment like very vintage style like that little Kelly cute shape um is very in at the moment and especially vintage vibe bags you'll see it on a lot of runways uh like obviously like brands like Dior um even Fendi like very vintage-esque kind of designs and this is definitely um key on this Louis Vuitton runway as well also I quite like the Alma PM with the white and the black and then it has this massive Louis Vuitton branding on it this branding it looks very kind of like retro to me it almost looks like a magazine commercial or something I actually quite like it um it's a little bit like when I first saw it I was a little bit confused by it I'm like well this is really random but it looks like a real like throwback I don't know like commercial the way the font is it's very retro um and cool i i really like this alma and a thing to note is is that it's in the pm size so big bags are definitely back in fashion i feel like all shapes are actually in fashion mini bags massive bags in between um there is a lot of different sizes and silhouettes in this collection so i quite like the diverse offering uh you also have another really novelty piece which looks like is that like a train sign or something um with the louis vuitton paris uh this is it, it looks quite cool i mean some of the novelty pieces louis vuitton have been doing lately especially with the men's collection look a little bit cheap like um kate spade level even claire's level but this looks a little bit more expensive i think because it has some uh, more fancy hardware on it um and it looks a little bit more elevated now some of the really standout pieces was definitely this uh little trunk bag with a kind of more of an oval shape it looks like very vintage and it features this almost like resin poured um outer so i imagine it'll be quite heavy and then you also have a petit mal with a similar uh, finish it looks like some poured resin kind of like a 1920s 30s bag i feel um i saw in the comments someone said that this looked like a tortilla like it's giving them tortilla vibes which i thought was hilarious um especially this bag it's definitely giving me tortilla vibes with like the little uh like burnt circles in it but i think it's actually quite pretty i, I imagine in real life it will have like kind of like an iridescent pearly look to it these like uh twist bags which feature the puffy diamond quilting and like more of a nautical color scheme so or you could say it's like a french flag color scheme maybe or even british flag perhaps um, or even american so um you've got the blue with the white and the red um then you have uh, an alternative colorway and this more like jester pattern uh with the matching gloves as well then another really interesting bag that i noticed was this um crossbody bag with a kind of more like a, a strap that goes under and this really interesting looking clasp it looks a little bit more it looks more like a latch like more elaborate than the usual s-lock um clasp that you see on like a pochette matisse this looks like a real like latch and it looks uh quite impressive actually and there's a lot more detail in the hardware it also features some hardware at the sides but this kind of silhouette definitely reminds me more of like a brand like maybe even celine or perhaps Hermes or something a little bit more minimalistic so um yeah the, it looks to me like a new bag from Louis Vuitton but um I wonder if it will be popular it looks like they are offered in box leather so 
yeah again it's a very classic vintage look uh very elevated and the colors are also uh kind of vintage vibes like you've got that more mustard yellow um a white and a red um you know you're not seeing this in like a bright blue or like a pink they're very like um classic colors i feel what did you think of the latest uh for winter 23 runway was it very throwback for you for me it was giving me like um yeah like 2014 runway bot vibes but let me know what you think is there anything on your wish list and thanks for watching my blabby video today as usual please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys on my next one bye